then after that, you know, if you listen to Carol Lewoski, she said she actually has some very strong data that uh, the next thing would be potassium instead of phosphorus. She actually has uh, some research that show that uh, adding the potassium has a bigger benefit than phosphorus when both are limiting. Any other questions or comments? If not, I appreciate your time. Thank you. So while we're switching out computers and presentations, I'll introduce our next uh, speaker is Chad Van Camp. And I think in the last couple of years, I wanted to get somebody in that would talk a little more about environmental insurance. Because a couple of our landowners that he's got clients of in Silent County uh, were just telling me why they took it out and why it was important to their business. And I thought that's something that we need to start tapping into in the world we live in. Back when I started my career, my one, actually when I was um, an intern, my boss always kind of chuckled because I did crop scouting. And he would always say, and don't you ever dare go 55 mile an hour road scouting. And so it meant getting out, walking the fields, looking at them. Well, we had those old clunky big cameras, so you couldn't really take a decent picture going 55 miles an hour either. So now with the way people are, when the DNR warden calls us up in our office and they say, oh, by the way, somebody took a picture from their phone cam or you know, their cell phone, a smartphone, and they'll email it to us and we look at it. And you, sometimes the clarity is actually very good. And you know darn well, they're just zooming by taking this picture of something that caught their attention. So it was one of those things where, you know, we, we need to really start looking at that, especially when they said that manure is a pollutant now as well. So um, just read that whole thing about the Iowa Des Moines drainage district thing, and Iowa threw it out, the state of Iowa, but they're not going to let it go. It's going to go to the, uh, the Supreme Court now in, um, to the highest level. So they're still going to be litigating that, and it's millions of dollars already just for that itself. That's been going on now for a couple of years, I think. The one thing I do want to bring to your attention, though, too, is the front page of this was the agenda. And if you notice, the 
back page was evaluation. So, if, you know, throughout the presentation, you can just um, tear them apart and then just fill out the evaluation um, as we go along through today's program. So, with that, Chad. Can you guys hear me okay? I'll do my best here. So, um, name's Chad Van Camp. Um, I'm not a professor like Francisco, so this is a little foreign to me as far as speaking out of a group. Uh, I haven't done this since my college days, so bear with me and don't hold it against me. Um, as far as me getting this to work, I might need some help from the staff here. on that. Um, so welcome. Uh, my name again is Chad Van Camp. Um, I grew up on a dairy farm in Freedom, Wisconsin, which is in Outagamie County. If any of you guys know Freedom, uh, there's a ton of cows there. We roughly have, say, 6,000 people that live in Freedom, and I'm guessing the number of cows is uh, probably getting close to 20,000. So it's uh, heavy on the cow side, which, which obviously comes with a lot of manure in our area and uh, the concern on how it's managed. Um, as far as myself, um, one thing I think I can brag about always is my family. So although I prefer to stay modest, I do have a wife. I have two kids, um, Kale, our son, who's about three and a half. Carter's my daughter, she's one. And I have Kale completely, completely brainwashed that uh, the red tractors keep on running and those green ones don't work too well. So I probably offended half the room or more than that. But uh, that's the case. So, um, yeah, I grew up on the farm. Uh, my parents uh, had a 112 stalls in our barn, raised their own young stock, and did our own field work. Um, Mom and dad are still on the farm. Um, I did uh, move off the farm and attended the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. I got my degree in uh, Bachelor's of Business Administration. So, yeah, uh, went there in 01, left there in 05 with my degree on May 14th, and then on May 16th, I started at Family Insurance Center. Um, I didn't go to school to be an insurance agent, just kind of ended up there. Um, now business partner at the time, um, he was my dad's agent. Uh, he was looking for someone that knew farming with a college degree that he could teach insurance. Um, so with the two different opp opportunities that are thrown at me, be a 22 year old guy, and. You know, after fighting dad a long time, saying, no, I don't want to do that, you finally listen, give it a shot. It's been a conduit to you know, deal with a lot of good people. So um, from 05 to you know, nearly 12 years later, I'm, I'm here and a, a partner in the business with Eric and my brother, Darren. So um, Family Insurance Center, um, we work with you know, multiple people in the egg industry, dairy farmers,
farmers? Any dairy farmers in the room? No, we do have one. So I will talk heavily about manure. Um, granted enough, you guys may purchase manure, have it hauled into your land for your crop. Crop farmers, manure haulers, agronomists, um, seed dealers, and et cetera. And some of those you look like, do, do they need environmental insurance? Why, why would it apply to them? We'll touch on that a little bit. Uh, we do deal with them on their property insurance, which we all know is our buildings, our equipment, our cattle, our feed, chemical supplies. Um, liability, you know, associated with your negligence. So as you're traveling up and down the roads in the fields uh, around your property, uh, where your negligence comes into play. Your auto, your workers' compensation, and, um, and, and if any of you ever deal with workman's comp, you know that can be a challenge. It's heavily re regulated through the state of Wisconsin, um, and then an umbrella. So we are an independent agency. What that means is we deal with a lot of carriers that you may not have heard of. Um, the ones you see commercials on are typically um, the direct agents, you know, the American Families and State Farms of the world. Um, that's the one carrier they work with, that agency. Um, we're the independent type that we work with, the uh, Securas, the Hastings Mutuals, the Erie Insurance, Pekin, Wilson Mutual, um, IMT. There's a progressive is a common one that you might have heard of. So that's where we come into play. We have offices in Freedom, Greenville, Seymour, and Stockbridge. Um, and uniquely, when we hire a staff, we, we don't look for insurance people um, since there, our agency is grounded around agriculture, we actually look for farm people. So, um, for example, um, Chelsea and Brittany work directly with Darren and I. We handle most of the farm stuff. Um, so when looking for a candidate, you know, Chelsea had a degree from UW River Falls in dairy science. I don't think most insurance agents look for that person. You know, they, they want someone that knows insurance. So we figured, we can bring in a girl like Chelsea. She knows farming, she grew up on a farm, she lived it, she wouldn't get educated on it beyond high school. We figured we could teach her insurance because farming is one of those things where you almost have to live um, to know. Yeah, you can you know, progress and learn as you go too, but uh, we felt that was important. Same with Brittany in her office. Um, she went to the UW Short Course in Madison. 